Well guys, last week I posted that video about the CCI Mini Mag ammo score that I'd got thanks to Motorman, and I hinted at the end of that video that I had something new to show you and that I'd be shooting that Mini Mag out of. And so this is what I've bought myself. It's a uh, Smith & Wesson MMP 1522. And I actually had this the same rifle basically. Uh, I had like the old style, the Picatinny style, I bought in 2014 and never shot the rifle one time. I basically left it in the safe for like two or three years. And then when I got my Ruger 1022, I basically sold the 1522 and I've kind of missed having that AR style 22. And this was a really, really good deal, which I'll tell you about here in a bit um, from Palmetto State, but I kind of wanted to show you how it comes. Basically there, it came in a brown shipping box um, the old style that used to have like the whole rifle came inside of a box and you would lift the lid and all the parts were in there. But so this one actually includes a bag. Uh, it will include Magpul embus front and rear flip up sights. Um, and then it's a Magpul M lock that's on it. Uh, there's some warranties and some Palmetto State sticker swag stuff. Um, Comes in a really nice bag here. It's got a spot on the front for three magazines. And then I think the extras are actually over here in this right now. So there's a magazine. Uh, comes with a Picatinny rail adapter. So you got M-lock on the back to just regular rail there. Comes with another magazine. Anything else down here? Let's see, a lock. Looks like a manual. That might be everything, but there's something else in here. Um, looks like that's probably something for the sights. So let's get the rifle out of the bag and then we'll go over some of the features and specs of it. Uh, let's see here. So, again, I'll go over all the pricing later, but this was all included. The extra magazines, the rail section, everything was included with this. So, there is the rifle. It's got an overall length of right around 34 inches, I believe. It's got a six position stock back here. So... You know, locks in place, all the different positions. It's got a functioning charging handle. And then, like I said, it's got the front and rear embus sights flip up. So those work well. Uh, it's got a shell deflector, a magazine release. It's got a safety selector, bolt release. Uh, let's check out the magazine release there, make sure it's functioning fine. Sure is. And then, like I said, it came with uh, three magazines. So there was the one in it that we just took out, two extras here. Uh, these go for 25 pretty much everywhere. So that's an extra 50 bucks compared to what it used to give you. And if I, if I find my receipt from 2014, I'll post it here. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I paid more in 2014 with just one magazine and none of the other stuff than what I did for this right now from Palmetto. And these are the 25 round magazines, not the 10. I'm in Ohio, so you're allowed to have these. It's got a full length, like standard Picatinny rail up on the top here for mounting red dots or scopes or whatever you want. And then, like I said, it does have an M-lock all the way around the rest of it. They do include this little two inch, which I showed earlier, a little adapter. What is it, a five slot? Really only a three slot. Well, no, those are five because those screws would be down. So yeah, it's a five slot rail adapter. Um, it's got just like a normal AR style grip on it and that is replaceable. You can see that down in there, just take, remove that and you can put any, which that is like kind of like a little bit of a cheaper feeling plastic. This up here is not bad, uh, the polymer up here, but that does feel a little bit rough, which I might end up getting a different grip for that at some point. 
But yeah, there is a lot of polymer on the gun, not just the, the grip there. I mean, the stock back here is polymer, even the trigger's polymer. All of the receiver up here is polymer. The bolt obviously is not, the barrel is not. Um, it does have like one of the A2 bird cages on it, like a flash suppressor. But overall, yeah, it's a pretty sweet little rifle. And the entire package, so all the magazines, which again, that's an extra $50 of magazines, which most people would buy additional magazines as well. Uh, the carrying bag, which again, some people would, some people wouldn't, whatever on that. But the carrying bag is like 35 bucks, pretty much everywhere between 30 and 35. So you got 50, so that's 85. Um, a little rail section is probably like $5 or $10 or whatever, but um, so let's just say like 90 bucks or whatever and extra stuff there. Um, the whole thing, Palmetto State was running a deal a couple weeks ago uh, for $3.99. And I'll show you guys my receipt here. Uh and then with, I'm not sure if it was free shipping or if it was no tax. I'll have to go back and look. Uh, but either way, it didn't cost too, too much to get it to me. Too much more than that. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to share with y'all my new little rifle and again second time i've had basically the exact same rifle but um i do have some plans for this already that i'll share with you guys probably in future videos probably a, a new red dot up on top um, i won't go with anything that's like too crazy expensive um might put a bipod on it i'm not sure yet um probably a flashlight and i'll show you guys some of like the the m lock adapters and different things like that whenever i do that but yeah, I just want to share the deal. Um, Palmetto usually has the deal between 430 and 450. Um, that's their price. And I actually had added this to my cart and then removed it, I bet, a dozen times um, because I knew that it was down to like 420 at one point and I kind of kept waiting for it to get back down to 420. And then they ran that deal for 399. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to jump on it for that price. And so, all right, guys, that's it on this video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.